Hey everybody, Moto Joe here, your fluffy cacher, coming to you from beautiful downtown New Mexico, but it's a little cloudy, dreary, and a little rainy today. But anyway, I'm on standby at work, which means no caching for me. I have to sit next to that phone, wait for it to ring, and then go out and save the world. Be a superhero. That's right. Well, anyway, no caching, but I did want to do a video today just to keep practicing. And uh, what I'm going to do is show you what I carry in my, my geocaching grab bag. This bag goes with me no matter if it's a park and grab or if I'm out doing a, uh, a five mile hike or, or whatever. This one comes with me all the time. I have three of them, but this one is my go-to bag. This one will actually slip into my other bags uh, depending on how far I'm going, what I'm doing, um, and so on. But this is the one that goes with me everywhere. So I hope you like it and uh, kind of hope you like the background today. This is the uh, New Mexico Space Museum in the background, and uh, it's rich with caches. There are caches everywhere here if you get to this point. Anyway, let's get started, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, my two main pieces of equipment. First one is my GPS. It's a Garmin GPS Map 62S. Um, I love this thing. It works perfect. It's good for in canyons, uh, in the forest, under the trees. It's just, it's been amazing. I like it. And uh, it's been roughed up. It's been dropped, banged. It's been through everything. But I have the Gizmo Vest uh, case for it. This thing, it's, it's hard rubber or some type of material, but Man, I'll tell you what, it, uh, it protects this thing like nothing. I would highly recommend this. Um, it's, it's saved, I think, my GPS a couple times on some pretty good drops. The other piece I have, this is my Delorum, Delorum A, Delorum, I don't know how you actually pronounce it, but it's my inReach. What the inReach is, basically, it's a uh, satellite communicator. It runs off of the Iridium satellite systems. Now, this is perfect if you get someplace where there is no cellular service. This here, if, so, if you need to, this thing will send and receive text from anywhere in the world. If you need help, send a text and, you know, have somebody come and give you a hand. There's been, there was once when I was way way back in the hills and the battery was dead on my truck. Well, I texted a friend and a couple hours later he was there. We got the truck running and got out of there. And uh, between the time I sent the text and the time he got there, nobody came down that road. So it was a lifesaver. And if you're out someplace and something life-threatening happens, you've got an SOS button. Um, you hit that SOS button and it sends an alert directly to a call center. That call center, in turn, will take your coordinates off of this, and then they will send a search and rescue out for you. So, I mean, I hike and geocache a lot by myself, and out in areas where there is no cell service, no way to get help if something happens. Um, this thing here, it's, uh, it's worth its weight in gold. Send a text, receive a text, and get help on the way. Um, I highly recommend this if you're, if you're a, a lone cacher. But anyway, let's get on and uh, let me show you my bag. Okay, folks, this is what I carry all my essentials in. This is a Maxpedition fatty pouch. And it carries basically almost everything I need. Um, I have my pins. I carry uh, ball points and I carry uh, felt tips. Both of them in extra fine. Uh, they're all made to work on soggy, damp logs, which we all run into. So they're perfect. I don't really carry a pencil. Uh, they're just they're just too hard on logs sometimes. 
I have my, my mag light. Uh, you know, that's for getting into dark little places. You don't want to stick your hand. Um, it's good for, you know, those night caches, looking for them fire tacks and all that. But, you know, you get some place back in the back country too and you're heading out after dark, you know, having a flashlight. <laughs> that's a that's an essential right there. I uh for those little micros and those nanos, you know you pull the log out and then you can't get it back in. Well, look at here, my log roller. I just stick a log in there, give it a twist and uh perfect. It it puts a it puts a log rolled up tight, goes right back into those those little nanos those little pain in the butt micros but that that's a tool I just can't live without too you don't see them too much out in the wilderness but you know if you're ever doing urban caches I don't do a lot of urban caches but when I do there is the piece I like I also I have a extendable magnet this thing extends out to oh, 18 20 inches it also has a mirror at the other end. Now, the mirror is good for looking under places. Um, you can shine your light in it and bounce light into dark areas. Uh, any place you don't want to stick your fingers because you don't know what's in there, this thing is cool. And then if you have a nano that's magnetic and it's way back in somewhere, you just pull this little magnet out, it'll extend, like I said, oh, 20 inches or so, and uh, grab that sucker and pull it right out. So, this is one I got from uh, geocaching.com, and uh, it works great. I also have, for many reasons, my tweezers. These tweezers, you know, again, those little nanos and micros, sometimes it's hard to get the 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 uh, logs out well this here will work fine you just reach in grab the log and pull it right out and then use your log roller to roll it back up and stick your back in and if the writing is so small eh, there's a little magnifying glass you can use to see what you're doing you can use that magnifying glass too to help start a fire if you if you want they're good all around and here in the desert these uh, tweezers come in real handy because of all the cactus. Boy, I've used this a couple times, pulling little stickers out of my feet, my legs, my hands. That's uh, a neat little tool. I also carry my little personalized wooden nickels. They have little wooden nickels I'll stick in the caches and on the back I'll sign them and uh, put a date on them and stick them in there. They're not really for trade, but a lot of people do grab them and take them with them. It's just a little, a little personalized item I stick in there. I have all kinds of little uh, swag that inside that pouch that I can leave. And also, one of the most important things I carry is logs. There's been so many times I've been out and you, you come across a log that's wet and it's soaked and uh, you just can't do anything with it. Well, I carry replacement logs, just as a courtesy. Instead of going back and logging the cache that the log's wet or the log's full, CO needs to pay, you know, a little attention to it, I just go ahead and I replace it. Then when I get back, I'll log the cache, and then I'll, I'll write a little note that the log was wet or filled, but I left one, so there was really no hurry for the cache owner to get there. I, I have a lot of caches and you know you got to drive three or four miles and then on mine uh, you got to hike in two or three miles and you know it, it's just a lot of trouble for uh, a wet cat a wet log or a, a field log so you know as a courtesy I carry these and I replace them um, if the log's almost full, if there's only enough room for a couple signatures, I'll replace them. And I always put a note to the uh, cash owner that I've done it. And uh, like I said, it's just a courtesy, but it's something I like to do. But that's it. I, I, I do usually carry a first aid kit in here. Now the first aid kit, 
um, it fits in, oh, let me find her here, right in the front here. And uh, I used it a couple weeks ago when I broke my arm. I uh, got cut and ended up using the band-aids and everything out of it. So um, I haven't replaced it yet, but I haven't really been out cashing yet either. So it will be replaced, but that is what I carry. And um, I hope that might give you some ideas of what you might want to carry. And if there's something in there that I don't have that you do carry, well, let me know. I'm always up for a, a new idea on something to take. Well, folks, that's it. I um, hope that might have given you some ideas of what you might like to carry around with you while you're out cashing, or if there's something that you carry that I don't, let me know. I'm always up for a new idea. But anyway, that's it. So from beautiful downtown New Mexico in the parking lot of the New Mexico Space Museum, we'll see you all next time. Oh, and by the way, next week I'm hoping to have a double header. I am going to go out and hide a cache, and I'm going to go out and find a cache. So there may be two new videos posted next week. All depends on what the weather does, and uh, you know, you know, luck. You know, hopefully I'll be able to get out and do it. So, anyway, thanks for watching.